Right, good morning. So, Sicha Pert and Chilakov base, part of the project of the Sichas, page 47. It's, uh, when I get the Pasha Shwini, in second Sicha, it's a seam on the entire Seder Tarus. I haven't made then a seam in the entire Seder, and Pala Shas, the Mishnah. This was a Sicha that I was said, Yitzhak Kislev. It's part of also what the Rebbe said, Matzi, Shabbos Pasha's Vayeshev, and Mikates. The Rebbe starts like this. Aleph. The last the Mesech of the Shishi said that the Mishnah Mesech the Uchzen. Red wegen the Prati Dinim von Thomas Eichler and Thomas Mashkin. Verstehen mit Pasha Seno. So the last Mesech of the Shishi said to the Mishnah is Mesech the Uchzen. What does that Mishnah speak about? It speaks about the details of the laws of food. And liquid getting tummy. The Shtem Pasha Seno, which says an hour Pasha. Or is the last halacha of the Mesechta? Is what's the last halacha of the Mesechta? Chalish Tavash, it says it like this. It says about a honeycomb. When does a honeycomb become susceptible to tumma as a liquid? The halacha is, is that there are certain liquids that become tummy. So, like you said, you start saying in the beginning, there's a solid and then there's a liquid. So, once something is a solid, sometimes it is susceptible to tumma, sometimes it's not. But there is mashkin that can become susceptible to tumma. So, when does that start? So, the Mishnah says that there's a machlekis. Bishama im mishiyahara. Bishama says when a person starts thinking about using the honeycomb or using this solid for a liquid. Like that's what the gears or according to the second is Mishih Kharkar, which is different shot on what that means. Sometimes when you singe it or when you smoke it. So that's according to Mishami, that's when the honeycomb becomes susceptible to tumma. And Basila Imran Basila says no, Mishi You have to actually start start to using it. Now, Bishama Halton as Glyph with their mensh is Maharb and Mahshafte Lirdis Hadvash, Bakunta Sadin, Mashkir and the Sidvar to Tommy with Thomas Mash. Ishame holds that when a person starts thinking in his mind to use the honey, so then there becomes a din of liquid, and it becomes tummy to mashkin. Shaking late bis hello, as is metami mishamashke, ersh mishirase was done by the mashke bepel. However, bis hello holds that it only becomes tummy when it actually becomes an actual liquid in actuality. Right there, is in the Mishnah Shlach, is there the last Mishnah of the Trishi, so the Mishnah state, then, how does the last Mishnah conclude? Amri Bishov and Levi, Asad HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Lahanach HaLachol Tzadik, Tzadik, Shleish Meis, Esrei, Asara, Ilamis, Shlema, Lahanach HaLevi, Yesh, Vetsuisem, Amali. It says, Rabbi Shov and Levi says, that eventually when Mashiach comes, Hashem is going to give as an inheritance to every Tzadik, 310 worlds, as the Pasuk says, in Mishlei, the Hanachil Oyav Yesh that he's going to give to those who love him Yesh Yesh is Begemar three hundred and ten, and Hashem says their their Eitzim um, I will fill. Am Rabbi Shmuel Mechalafta Shmuel Mechalafta says like Matzah Kadosh Baruch Hu Klimasik Baruch Hu Yisrael El Hashem that Hashem did not find a vessel to to hold. The Yidin, a master of Rachel, you saw only a shalom. Shem of the says, Hashem is Amin, Hashem is Rachel, Samin, Bashal. So the Rebbe says like this. Start from our stem, we have to understand. Vas is the shyness for the last Mishnah, the Amara from the Vishum and Levi, or the Vishum and Chalaftra. So the Mishnah should look like that, the Puxa, the Mishnah, Misham, and Misil, but again, Chalist, what's the connection between this last part of the Mishnah, which says that Hashem is going to give every side of 310 Elamis, and Lam Utsab of the Kurafu, who came out of the Rachel Israel, are showing. To the whole mafleik is between Mishami and Bisil. The Rambam, or Nafa Mafarshim, Zanam Ravar, the Rambam, and Pishim Mishdais explains over here, and other Mafarshim, the Rosh, and others explain that Mavar, the Lefishi Hishtim, called Dini Halacha, since now Mishdais is finishing Halacha, Chosim had devoted in Begomu. What does that mean? That says, the Mishnah attacking it came Hemshech with Teichin and to the Mishnah should have now. In actuality, according to the Ramam, the Mishnah has no connection to the, what we said before. This is a conclusion on the entire Shishi Sidney Mishnah. Why? 
והידיעה בחסים מס המשנה, מה נזכרת של צדיקים שלומדים ומקיים כל מה שפסו במשנה. So in order that the צדיקים will learn משניים and conclude משניים should know the reward that Hashem is going to give צדיקים who are מקיים what it says in the משנה. That's what the Ramam says. Ramam says, like the Ober, we may find in the Gemara בכמה מקיימס. However, what we find in many places in Shaz, in the beginning of Tainus, in Saita, in Makkas, and other places, there's always an intrinsic connection between everything. We always explain why Mishnayas are next to each other. For sure, two Mishnayas that are in the same pedic. So you must say that, based on what we find in many places in Shas, that there's a special connection in Mishnayis between the two Mishnayis, especially when it's in the same paragraph. Good morning, Warners. I'll make a recap. Okay, so we said like this. We said, warning base, it's a second second, head of base. We said like this. We said, and this week's part just speaks about Thomas Mashkin speaks about different liquids when they become, sometimes it's different Allah is that when a liquid could become tummy or susceptible to tummy. So and send it to the chin. Chef. So in the last Mesefta of, Mishna, of the Mishnayis, of Shishay said in the Mishnah, Mesefta Luktin, speaks about the Allah is of Thomas Eichlin and Thomas Mashkin. When a, when a food becomes tummy, when a, when a liquid becomes tummy. And the last Allah in the Mesefta that speaks about it speaks about a honeycomb. It's called an halacha. It's called, the, I, don't, I don't know what the Mesefta is. It's called, the, the halacha speaks about a, a chalaz dvash, a honeycomb. So the, the Mishnah says, when does a honeycomb, when does a chalaz dvash, when does it become tummy? So machlik is mishamay and bisil. Mishamay says that a chalaz dvash becomes tummy when mishiyahara, when you start thinking about using the honeycomb or when you start either singeing it, that's when it becomes uh, tummy. Basil says no. Mishi Rasig, it actually you actually have to use the honeycomb, you actually have to take the solid and make it into liquid, then it becomes tummy. Um now, then later on in the Mishnah it says that Amr Bishob and Levi, that when Mashiach comes, Hashem is going to give as an inheritance to every tzaddik three hundred and ten worlds. As the Pasik says, Lahanhu Oyave Yesh, Yesh is the three hundred and ten. So it's telling us that Hashem is going to give to his oyave, to his inheritor, to his people he loved, as an inheritance, he's going to give 310 worlds. Then, the Mishnah says, Amr B'Shem ben Chalafta, Hashem did not find a klimas, rochel Yisrael, Allah HaSholem, as it says, Hashem B'Yisrael, Hashem B'Yisrael, Hashem B'Yisrael, Hashem B'Yisrael, So the Rebbe says, what's the connection between the Machlekes, between Misham and B'Yisrael, about Chalis Tavash becoming Tommy, what it becomes Tommy, to what we're saying about Every tzaddik is going to get 310 worlds. So the Ramam says the connection is, is that he's telling us this, that a person, a tzaddik, who learns, oh, Kol Shishu Siddhar Mishnah, he's finishing Mishnayas now, so the pastor he went in order, he's telling us what a tzaddik, what the tzaddikim will finish Mishnayas, what they're going to get. The Rebbe says that we find in many places in Shas that everything has a connection one to another. So obviously if it's in the same paddock next to, other, next to each other, it must be that there's a connection. We're holding base now. So to understand this by first prefacing what the Mafarshim say. As a seam from Shishi Sidi Mishnah by Mamam by Mahabara Manaus Bhit Sum Idea Zain in Madan Sparnish Sadikim. Now the Rabam says, what's the reason why Mishnayas finishes with telling us about Sar? Is to tell us, to notify us the Madan Sharan of Sadikim, that the Sadikim what reward they're going to get. So the Rabbi says the Lukhir is it for Stan Xander Stut Dorat Sif. We're talking about Sadiqim who are concluding Mishnayas Shlemus with Limadatera, which means that they're completing the Limadatera. So we're talking about finishing, not uh, how we finish Mishnayas. We're talking about a Tzadik, how a Tzadik is finishing Mishnayas over here. Is the Halachene Pasha the Muan, as a Halachene Givis, by the Oifan Abayah, like Tzivia Mishnah, Nach Besid and Ezekin, Misham Shin Esharav, so that's the Kabbalah Pras. So obviously, or Prapashas, we're talking about Sadiqim over here that are serving Hashem not in order to to attain reward. Nitzlib Skar, we're not talking about people that are learning in order to get a scar or to, to be manful ilmis, we're talking about 
Sadiqa over here, real Sadiqa, they're finishing Shishi Sidi Mishnah, they're finishing Taira, and the Mepashtas are holding at a level that the Shlomo has to come across. Zeisvayid, before the Mort, the Pasik was the very Gibrach in the Mishnah, Gufa Zat. What is the Pasik which the Mishnahis brings? It says, Lahanchil Oyavayesh, to give as a, a, a Yerusha to those who love me, or those who I love, Yesh, which means, like we said, 310 words. The Lord 310. Huh? My love. Lahanachal Oyava Yesh, to I give those who love me, who I love, uh, Yesh, 310. Give us din the Mibrish in Ma'ab, which means those who serve Hashem out of love. But does mean with the Ramam and Ar Barucha, like the Ramam explains at length, as a two as the Avaida Lishma, which means that they do their Avaida for the sake of, of Hashem, neither Shem Star, nor Isa Hemis, and Fnishu Hemis. They're doing, they're fulfilling what Hashem wants, not for a reward, but because they, they meet it with the truth. The Rebbe says in practice, Emes Taka, as their as their was is Oisa Emes of Neshu Emes is moved off with the Rambam Zok Dar. That's if I take a love it with Lola. Obviously, he's going to get the Rambam says he's going to get uh, goodness from it because of it. Nor Nit Das is the famous to Galter Estreib Estreib to the Vichim is is an Avodah. It's not the reason. It's not the goal to 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 get a reward. By not. Even Hashem Ma'ava is there even for safe Hatev Lo Mibigol and Narad over Tafel study. This day he's going to get something from it. It's something secondary. When that Iker by him is Vas Er Hazeichi Gevan so didn't them ever still Shmuel. So the main thing by him is to serve Hashem the Shmuel for the sake of Hashem. He bothers the Iker with Tachos and Avedis Avedis Ater and Mitzvahs. He is the Shmuel and it's the Kabbal Sadar. So since the Min and Tachos Avedis of a Tzaddik. Which he's, which he, which he's, the Abayda of Terimitsis is the Shema Natim Kabbalah he is Masim. So how is it uh, fitting? As we see him, all the Shishi, see the Mishnah, was thus made in our Matzah, and Tachos of Shem was Nala, but with Hashem of Chudi, but the Sima Zain, need as Nafshik Shura Ba'avas Hashem of Chudi. Not like the Ramon says that his soul desires that, that he should get connected to Hashem, nor, but the Servet Hobbin, Shai Ilum is Chudi, out Domul Star, Far away, said, there's a mitzvah. So what are you saying? You're saying that why do we conclude the, the Mishnah is this way to, to, to tell the tzaddik that he's going to get shy of It's not that we're talking about a tzaddik over here, which attained a level that he doesn't, uh, this doesn't talk to him. Yes, and he, thank you, I'm going to get some money in the bank. But that's not the reason why I'm doing it. So I'm not doing it for a start. This was something that says we have to say as the zaf and the handful for the shy of was that sich in the Mishnah da is not an inyan for star mitzvahs for mulvane herogel. We're not talking about regular star mitzvahs. A task of an edom is for edom is a way to Hashem. It's not a, a reward that Hashem is giving us. Nor this is a hechen shtem is ba'avida and I'll lead to welfare. There even ma'avid the great idea with us. So we're talking about you must say we're talking about a, a level of ma'avida that the tzaddik is going to get um, after this ma'avida. And thus is, and thus is, and thus is the Mishnah, but the Mishnah Shlafanel talks us by Sham by Sulo or Bachalist Vash. This is the the Kuda, the connection we said between the Mishnahis of getting a reward and the Machlekes between by Sham by Sulo when they get to Chalist Vash, to Honeycomb. My time, my daughter had Emmas, was the last I loved in Mishnah, Chitom, my Mishnah, which we know shall call her the Chachar Chitom. Everything goes based on the conclusion. That a beregia, beirim, and devash. We're talking about uh, we're talking about um, honey and and bees. Is well the borim, the beirim, then the kibir, chazam, ramas, and shleimas. I read the I read the lishma. We're going to explain how the honey and uh, how bees um, allude to shleimas. I We'll explain that in sif zayin. But the aveda is a chana v'akdama to us. I can lishmar for the hana for the chol tzadik. This aveda of bees. Is a hachana, is a preparation and a preface to that Hashem is going to give a shayel the mis. Talking about honeycomb. So it says uh, before the honey when the honeycomb is in the hive, what status is it? Is it it's a it's, it's a solid. So the question is to be makabel tumo. So when it's only going to be makabel tumo. So when it can be continued the liquid. So the one in that in this mishia when we think about taking that honey. 
better thing like clicking out one is when you either start taking it out, spreading it out, or when you start smoking it, some of the bees will go a little high. So in this the in Bishama is I like this it's a two gear so is what he means. Either Mr. Harry thinks or when when he smokes it. All right. Bishama Mr. holds it has to be actual natural liquid, yeah. All right. So now the Rebbe says in least on the Svaris and Pluxa Bisham Bisil, you know, their Pluxa Bachalis Tabash was his Vigaret Kampam for Buddha Mithila Kulali to Shinazir Shittis. We spoke about many times that everyone, whenever he, he speaks about Achleikas Misham Besilo, many times he spoke, let's say in Hanukkah or other Achleikasin, that Besham is always looking at the Koyach, the potential of the thing, and Besilo is speaking about Basar Bepeil, speaking about the actuality. So we spoke about many times, he has Lina Basar Bekoyach, do we go after potential? Other or as Lina Basar Bepeil, we go after actuality. Besham may halt as Lina Basar Bekoyach. When did he ever come to say, Din Mashka Glaf Mishiach Harer, or the Fulla Mishiach Harer? So Bishame holds that when it comes to Chaz to Ash, we go after after the Bekeh Mepel. So therefore, once you smoke it, or even once you think about it, this potential has the, the, the ability to be a liquid, so therefore it's Mekabal Tumo. Um Beisil Hal, as Lini Basa Mepel, or the Rebbeas, it came Mashke Biz, but Mashke Mepel, Meshir Asik. And therefore, Beisil, who's always looking at Basa Mepel, He'll tell you that it only is going to be a mash. It only is going to be the kabbatuma once it actually becomes a liquid. Now, right this is an afkemina and then close the inyan for matanas bris adam ala ares was named brisi. The shamash is kind of like the kamon sivches meilas. We may not even afkemina, but again, the shlemis adam idea with us. Now, this brings out an afkemina in the general uh, concept of why the world was created, why a man was created on the world. As we know, it says at the end of kedushin. I'm created in order to serve Hashem, and also be an afkemina in the shleimus adam through his avodah. We may let dafke enough puts us the shama v'silah now, but better first time the same amishta aser akolish baruch lahazol. So based once we explain, uh, we explain clearly. We explain in a in a in a in a tifkait the machleitus to mishama v'silah. You'll and with that hakdama, then we're going to appreciate the end of the mishnah that says aser akolish baruch lahanafel shay elamis. Dal, last time middle of Mishnah about it is lost in Ksara with Tachas of the so the the terminology of the Mishnayos which you know everything is written in very bekitzer. But for the Mishnayos says Asher Yakadish Baruch Hu Lahanafel Fuli. What does it say? That when Mashiach comes, he's going to give Lahanafel as the Yerusha Shailimus. As the Chet of he passed the Lahanafel in the Yerusha. Why are you using? Why is Mishnayos using a terminology of an inheritance? Yerusha is not for Bodei Mitzvah Aveda from the Yerush. If we're speaking, what are we speaking about? We're speaking, what's a Yiddish? Yiddish means you didn't work at all for it. You're getting it because, whatever, you're a Yiddish. One of the ways a Yiddish. So that's why it gets to Yiddish. So, so why are we using the expression of Yiddish? Or we're speaking about somebody about so matan skaran a reward a reward means something you worked for. So that's what Kadosh Baruch Hu should have said. Lita, Hashem's going to give it. It's me as not yes. The 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 question is even stronger. The Zav and Maimer were kibrachta misefta Sanhedrin. The same the Maimer Chazal is brought in misefta Sanhedrin. Undarsh te taka also Kadosh Baruch Hu lita in the chol tana gutzadim shaylamis. And there taka says that Hashem is going to give three hundred and ten elamis. To the tzaddikim, Shlaim Rabbeir, ah, as he and he says, the Rebbe says the question. It's he and it's is the answer. The man who sets the sanedrin and goes to his gezok gemara and dwarf ameda rabba rava bar mori attacked the bedin schar hamitzvus in sets the sanedrin, which that's the mori rava the ameda rava bar mori. He's taka speaking about the reward for mitzvus. Or did he result there? Also, the Kaddish Baruch Olitin. That's why over there he uses the terminology Litin. Why? Because we're talking about Askar Mitzvah. A person works hard, he gets a reward. So it, it, it passes the lashon of Also, the Kaddish Baruch Olitin. Of in their Mishnah was kumt al tziyum v'chit the Mamashnayis. Now this Mishnah, Mishnah we're talking about is concluding the entire Mishnayis. That's it. Nid begin Askar Hamitzvah to pass. So not speaking about the actual reward for doing a Mitzvah. Our canal back in the shleimus of the tzaddik the grace idea with us in Avil. We're speaking about 
the level that a tzadik reaches at the completion of work. And the river is shubalevim daik. That's why he's daik. What's the nuance? What does he say? Asher that is baruch for lahanfil. The shleimus is bedugmas ube gidre yirosh. Whatever the shleimus is, that we're going to explain. That is the shleimus avoda. That is when he's when he's gaining, what he's attaining, what the Ebrister is giving to him. That's automatically that's a gather of yirosh. Hey, menigea yirusha zidu avas teragut shavas mevar. As a yerush is nit at sveitem etzias vos bakum nes nechosim for the merish. Ner bolosh nakosov tachas avisefa yu benefa. The yerush take bim came a merish. A yerush is an ein zach mit the merish etzim abdul shenit. Now the rabbi shavu explains. The rabbi calls this the rabbi shavu many many times that the idea of somebody who's a yerush, somebody who inherits, it's not that he's becoming. It's not like he's um, becoming. He's a is a is a second metzias which he like a, a second entity that he. It receives the nesaf, the chassid, that he receives the, the the property of the of the one who's giving him the yerusha, but rather it's that the pasuk says that he is in kaima meir. He's mamish. He takes place of the person who's giving him the inheritance. Al deras zens when he gets to yidin. So the same thing by yishlemos was very ufkiton the meat was a yidin len tedo was mekayim mitzvus is was yisrael raisu kuchubricha kulachad gimol meskash and davidok kuchubricha raisu yisrael. Now, so the same thing by a yid at the completion that a yid and the yid that, a, that this that a yid he, it accomplishes when he is learning ten and mekayim mitzvahs, which we know is and the are kulichad, as it, as it says, the three things that connect Abraham the teda and the yidin, and becomes all one thing. So, and the same thing by mitzvahs, as we know, a mitzvah is the idea of tzavs of the Yid becomes one with the Neisra Teda and the one who commands the mitzvahs. Or das is the pshat from the Hanchal Eyavayesh. This is what it means that they inherited Oyavayesh. The Rambam is Mavaraz, the Lashon Yesh, Vais, if mitzvahs, at Midas, Asher Ein Lotafas. The Rambam explains that the word Yesh shows on a, a constant uh, mitzvahs, but there's no Tafas. When the Hanchal Eyavayesh means, what does it mean, the Hanchal Eyavayesh? What does that mean? We can nevra a bag wool nem nem and a yesh and muchlot and mitzvahs to this. I need for nitzvahs to build a bag wool. How is it possible that a person who's a who's a mitzvahs who's who's a bag wool who's limited? How is it possible that he's going to get something which is unlimited? That's what the pasuk stresses and says. We're not receiving this as as like a, a giver gives somebody who's a who's a nicer that a nicer gives him a kabel. We're not talking about a, a kabel and a nicer. No, yidden and zayin does neifal al siyedish was his ein zaf with the menish. We are inheriting yidden zayin bonu lakolish bar the riber. Bishasa yiz len tato was makai mitzvus red nizgala vi eres a mitzvus min emes and yesham mukhlam mitzvus at midis oisi atem lekom.